Let me read to you a poem called Jane Addams. Here again, I'm impersonating. And I'll say, not uh, minding the least, tracing a little halo over my head, that a few months ago I went to Springfield and uh, 35 Illinois authors have been cut into stone in the uh, new library there, state library. Of course, I'm very proud of that. It just looked magnificent seeing my name way up there under the blue. And so uh, I had to say a few words in dedication. And I was standing right under Jane Addams' name. So I read this poem. She was born September 6, 1860, died May 21st, 1935. I am Jane Addams. I am saying to the giant less time, to the young and yammering, to the old and corrected, well, chiefly to children coming home with worried faces and questions about world survival, go ahead and live your life. You might be surprised. The world might continue. It was not easy for me in the days of the giants, and now they call me a giant because my capitals were labor, reform, welfare, tenement regulation, juvenile court law, the first, factory inspection, workmen's compensation, woman suffrage, pacifism, immigrant justice, and because black, brown, and white, and red, and yellow heavied my hand and heart. I shall tell you a thing about giants that you do not wish to know. Giants look in mirrors and see almost nothing at all, but they leave their houses nevertheless. They lurch out of doors to reach you, the other stretchers and strainers, erased under ermine or loud in tatters, oh, moneyed or mashed. You matter. You matter, and giants must bother. I bothered. Whatever I was tells you. The world might continue. Go on with your preparations, moving among the quick and the dead, nourishing here, there, pressing a hand among the ruins and among the seeds of restoration. So speaks a giant, Jane.